All right, so for dry brushing, you want to get a brush. It could be like this, or it could be a handheld one on a stick. And the first step we need to do is to warm up the areas of, a, of the lymph. So imagine everything like train tracks, and the train tracks aren't primed to move or laid down for the train to move. So we have to essentially uncongealize all the congealed tissue inside our lymph. So like we're going to start with the chest area here and I'm just doing circles here, small circles. I'm going to go all the way down the arm doing small circles, just all the different parts. Once we have all that primed, then we can work on moving it down towards the heart. So you always want to move lymph towards the heart. So I'm going to start this way. You always do it in a pumping action. So lymph works as a pump. That's why when you jump up and down, uh, rebounder, it pumps it or exercising is pumping it. So you see the pathway I chose. I'll do it on the top so you can see it again. So I'm starting from the where I started. I'm pumping all the way to my hand. And you know, if you've got some issues with your hands, you can also do it on your hands and pump it back down. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the arm too. Here. Okay. Also get that here. Find that and do some pumping to move it in towards the heart here. Yep. You can do the same thing on this other side symmetrically. And then we can also work on the neck here. So prime it all. I'm gonna work in a motion like down in this, kind of like a J. So pumping it this way. No. And then same thing for the other side. Priming everything. So you start pumping from the closest of your heart or to your heart and then down the limb or appendage and then come back. Remember you're pumping this lymph so it's not like one big brush across. You got to do the pumping action. And while you're doing this, honestly, you don't really feel too much other than like you can feel a little bit of like uh, the neuropathy that you have or if you have like some histamine kind of issues, you can definitely feel the tingling. And for me, I have pulled my uh, ligament in my elbow there and I can definitely feel it when I work on there but it feels a lot better after working on there and so you know after this when you're done you want to do a shower which we're not there yet but the water feels a lot smoother on your skin and you know you're brushing off the dead skin cells that shouldn't be on your body so it's healthy in that way as well. And now for the legs, I have pants on, but this is essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working on the groin here. So I'll just take the brush off. 
and you want to get into the lymph nodes on each side. And then you want to work the same circle motion. You want to do that all the way around and in the center and around the knee and underneath the knee as well. This, this area is very sensitive. It's kind of like the armpit. You want to go down all the way to the ankles. Make sure you're getting the feet. You know, and then once it's primed, then you go start from the lymph here. So pumping it up, pumping it up, pumping it up, pumping it up, pumping it up. Pumping it back in. And you know, it helps if you put your like foot onto something or you can put it on like a stool or have your partner hold your leg up. It's all kind of fun, but once you have it there, then you've gotten your appendages and the main majority of your lymph. There is some that has got associated lymphatic tissue as well, but you can't really get that with the dry brush. So that's not the point of this dry brush. So ideally you would not be wearing the shorts and you'd be dry brushing on your bare skin. And then once you're done doing everything, hop in the shower, get some heat on you. So if you can go into the sauna, that's great. And that's going to help with the sweating. So you're going to excrete the toxins that are coming through your lymph, but uh, you know, taking a bath also works. So just getting really your lymph started before you do that toxin expulsion. So like a sauna with Epsom salt or a clay bath, uh, but you know, a hot shower works as well.